Okay, so we just flew this thing, and I tell you, it's pretty amazing. Uh, it's very windy here, uh, but the thing has technology, so it kept it stable. Uh, we went forward, backwards, sideways, uh, spun around, uh, landed. Um, it's relatively easy to fly. It turns out you do mostly just things with a joystick. Uh, forward, you go forward, backwards, you go backwards, right and left, that's it. Um, and up and down, pretty, and there's like nothing to it. Um, felt a lot of wind. It's, it's pretty loud, uh, but we were expecting that. And unfortunately, my helmet was a little bit open in the front, so it was a little louder for me. Uh, but really a, a great riding vehicle. Um, I, I, it's, you don't really need a whole lot of lessons to learn how to do this. Uh, I, mean, I had a lot of instruction in advance, but it's really straightforward. Uh, it's a matter of just uh, not doing things abruptly. You have to be very gentle with the controls. So you're going gently forward, gently backwards. Um, these things will go up to a top speed of 63 miles an hour by law. Uh, we didn't do that today, obviously, <laughs> nor am I not interested in doing that. But um, all in all, it's got, a, it's got a touch screen in the front, so the controls are pretty straightforward. You push a button while you're holding the stick back, it starts. Um, you let it go. You wait for all the technology to kick in. It's got GPS. It's got a lot of technology, a lot of automation, a lot of stabilization. So it self-stabilizes when you're up in the air. So you go up, and then you just wait. Let it learn where it's going to be, and then you take control, and then you pretty much do whatever you want. So, um, again, this is uh, Mason, Ohio. This is Rise Aero where we're at, a little bit outside of Cincinnati, and uh, this is the future of personal air vehicle.